Hi everybody, it's Miss Jenikin. In today's video, we are going to be practicing um, blending and segmenting CVC words. And what that means is, is that we're gonna take words that follow this pattern of consonant, vowel, consonant, um, such as cat or um, dig or hen, um, that follow this pattern of consonant, vowel, consonant, and we're gonna practice blending the sounds together to read the words, and also listening to the sounds and stretching them apart to write the words. Um, just to remind you, these are the consonants of the alphabet. And they are the letters that usually only have one sound and they go at the beginning or the end of one of the CDC words. So these letters are, you can say them with me if you want to, B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, sometimes Y, and Z. So as a reminder, those letters are gonna be the sounds that are gonna go at the beginning and the end of these words. The middle of a CVC word is the vowels. And I bet that you can guess what the five vowels are. So I'll go, let, go ahead and let you say them first and see if you have the same thing that's on my ward. What are the five vowels? If you said A, E, I, O, and U, you are correct. Uh, the sounds that are gonna be in these CVC words, the middle are always the short vowel sounds. A for A, E for E, I for I, A for O, and U for U. So the short vowel sounds are A, E, I, A, U. Are you ready to get started? Me too. The cards that I'm gonna be using in this video are from this CVC Builders package, and I got it on Amazon, <clears throat> excuse me, and basically it comes with these 48 CVC activity cards that have a picture, um, and they also have the Eloquin or um, sound boxes at the bottom to show what those three letters sounds are, and then on the back it gives the spelling of the word. Um, and so in this video, I will be showing the picture first, um, and then we'll be segmenting the sounds apart to try to figure out what the spelling of the word would be. So the first part of this video is gonna be segmenting, um, which is a skill that we use for writing. Um, and then the second part of the video um, will be on blending the sounds together. So I'll post a part one right now, and then part two will be blending the sounds together. All right, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna start with our first picture card, and it is this. So at home right now, you can either draw this three square box on a piece of paper um, or on a whiteboard. I use something like this in my classroom um, where the kids can write inside the boxes or they can just touch the bottom. So I will be showing you the picture and then on your own, you're gonna try to write what those three sounds are, okay? So if we start with this picture and the word is rat, rat. So in your mind, you should be thinking, hmm, what are those three sounds in rat? R, a, do it one more time. R -a -t. Now think, what are the letters that go with those sounds? So together, let's do that, okay? I'm gonna use two different colors to show you the vowels and the consonants, but you can just use one color if that's easier for you. Remember, the picture, the word was rat, rat. So think of that first sound, R-A-T. 
Did you write it like I did? If you did, give yourself a high five. <laughs> and go ahead and erase. And let's try another one. This picture is a guy and he is using a shovel to dig. So go ahead and say the word dig. Now let's touch the boxes together and think about the sounds first. Don't start thinking about the word, the letters yet. First, the sounds. Dig, d, oh wait, yeah, d, i, g, dig. Try it one more time. D, i, g, dig. Now you try it on your own and see if you can write dig. D, i, g. Are you writing it with me? Good. Did you write it like I did? D, I, G, dig. Let's check the back of the card and see if we're right. If you're right, give yourself a high five. And if you're not right, think, where did I go wrong? Which sound did I mistake for something else? A lot of students I see sometimes mistake I and E, which is I and E. So maybe you're at home right now and you wrote this. If that's true, then think, hmm, deg, d, egg. Do you see how I'm rereading what I wrote? And then I think, wait, that doesn't make sense. It's okay, I can just erase the middle one and fix it to be dig, d, i, g, like this. Yes? Awesome. Let's do a couple more. All right. This is a fox. Fox, the animal, a fox. So we said the word first. Now let's segment or separate those sounds. Ox. It's only three sounds, three letters. Ox. Okay? Now think about what those letters could be and try to write them down. Ready? Ox. Okay, ready? Did you get this? Ox. Fox. That's the spelling of the word fox. All right, let's do two more. All right. Here we go. We sleep in this at nighttime. What is it called? Bed. That's right. Now this one's a little bit of a tricky one because it's got two letters that some of us switch around sometimes. And so let's really try to think B, E, D. How would you spell the word bed? B, E, D. Go ahead and check it. Write it together. B, E, D. Ready? Did you write what I did? B, E, D. Bed. Let's check and see if we were right. Yeah. When I see the word bed, like this, I always remember that B goes first and D goes after because when you write the word bed, it kind of looks like a front of the bed post and then the bed and then the end, just like the picture, the headboard, the bed, and then the end. It kind of matches what the picture looks like. So that's how I can remember. So if maybe you're somebody who accidentally wrote this, check your work like this. D, eb, deb, that's not bed. And then change it, fix it. It's okay if you make a mistake. 
as long as you fix it to make your brain grow even bigger. Okay, let's do one more with our last vowel that we haven't used yet. This is a bug. Bug. Can you say bug? Bug. Now let's think of those three sounds in the word bug. B, uh, g. B, uh, g. Hmm, I'm sure you're thinking of those letters now. Go ahead and try to write them. B, uh, g. Did you get what I did? B, ug, bug, b u g, bug. So this is part one of how to use these cards to help your child or to help you learn how to segment or stretch sounds apart to make words. I hope this has helped. Um, I will do another video another day of just practicing. Um, but also at home, you can just think of these three letter words or find pictures um, or say them to your child like map or fin, leg, dog, cut, van, um, dug, any of those three sound words and have your child try to sound them out um, and then write them. All right. Uh, I hope this has helped all of you and I'll see you later.